My, my Remy Tim dice kind of spilled out in the... Shit. Oh, that's good. Kind of spilled out in my Jeep, so they're, like, stuck. Right? That's good. I said it tastes like the sparkling grape juice you would get on New Year's. Except it's 8% alcohol.
Uh, I got what? stuck at the D10. <gasps> I'm so close. Fuck. I got stuck at the D10. I this think I'm doing it show. right. Oh, no. Uh, you Damn. roll the roll. You roll the highest number, and they're, each they're keep playing going. this dumb nonsense. And I'm gonna put in on my calendar Thursday at seven thirty. Bam bam. Uh, it might have to be eight. I have a catch appointment. I don't know when I'll get back for it. Uh, we are gonna play Jeopardy. On yes. Jeopardy. Son of a. This is the point to count. Does that count? Does that count if it was cocked? One, two, three, four. Of and then you, you roll a d6 and try and get five and six. Well, no, you try to get. I thought it was four, four six, six, eight. eight. You, you have, have to get the highest the face. Highest on each yeah. die. And every time That's you don't easier. get it, you have to start over at the beginning. It's way easier. Why is that way easier? <laughs> the odds are exactly the same. You're trying to hit one of them. <laughs> nah, definitely not. Oh. There are. The odds of getting a four on a d4 or a one, a two, a three, and a four in that order. I would say that would, would, it, not be, would it not be the same? No, oh, no, no, that's because you, you need you need the specific one. order. The specific order. Well, yeah. the order never changes. Yeah. Well, but he's order, saying you. Order never he's changes. saying getting a one, two, three, four and on the die, get a, and then if getting if you're on yeah. a two, one, you two, roll three. a three, or when you roll a four, then you start at one. That's yeah. way harder for sure. Probably, but this is already hard because we haven't gotten past the D eight. I have my friends. What happened? Holy shit! Holy shit! Ooh. We're gonna lose it here! We're gonna lose oh. it here! Wait, we lost it. Uh, that's a four. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short stream today. Uh, because I uh, got back from Ubicon today. I'm still kind of in cosplay. Uh, and, 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 I'm, and I'm tired. Uh, full stop. That's it. Uh, I would love to go through with all of you fine nerds. Please tell me where we left off. Brandon, tell me who your character is and tell me what happened last time. All right. I am Rain, the uh, emotionless assassin, although uh, that's hopefully starting to uh, change a little bit, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> oh, do you have the letters I gave you? Yeah, they're over here. And uh, yeah. last week we uh, we went on an epic trek through the desert. Well, we continued our epic trek through the desert to uh, find a very large turtle monstrosity. Turtle, hold up the turtle. <laughs> Where's the turtle? There it is. Indeed. Oh, He's <laughs> he angry. <laughs> He's very angry. Captured in his pokeball, he is. Uh, his capture tag. Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. TM. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how dare all of you? <laughs> it's a capture card, so we can, that's our capture card, so we can actually stream the Smash later. <laughs> all right. Uh, 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 Zeb, why don't you go ahead? Uh, immediately, the quick side or backtracking. Immediately before that, there was a quick, quiet conversation that was very amicable between Rain and Tempest. It's mm. probably fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, it's definitely fine. Yeah. We uh, we fought the turtle, which we thought was a tiny turtle, but that's just a thing on its back. It's actually a very big turtle. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It survived two of my nukes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good turtle. But, that. yeah, as, turtle. as Brandon said, uh, we, we took it out and we headed out. And the creepy bugs, which we did not stop to talk to, did leave a weird set of armor for nobody us. Nobody likes the bugs. I don't Look, know why nobody likes I don't, because we I can't like speak the their language. It's just Who a language likes the bugs? I, I don't. It's not that we don't yeah, like It's hard them. to break we, bread and we find do, common ground when we're have, chittering. We don't, we don't have fondness for people who don't speak like us. Hey, <laughs> well, no, it's man. just <laughs> bugs. I don't... We, we call them uncommon. <laughs> yeah, tu- <laughs> Tempest just really doesn't like being around bugs, especially bugs that are big and have like sentient thoughts and can eat me. And I don't want any part of that. Your coat literally does all of those things. <laughs> and it hasn't stuff. eaten me yet. <laughs> Riley, why don't you continue? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. I play Temerity, the Tan Tiefling. Uh, Trouble Tan Tiefling. Yeah. We. Uh, skip some bugs. We went back to town. Uh, did some drinking. Did some whoring. Did some uh, cultivating. And uh, now we got to catch a train. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 Tony, why don't you bring us home? Uh, 
Well, I'm Google, the uh, sand surfing uh, furball <laughs> druid. And I forgot about that, and that was sick. Yeah, I think you should have ongoing proficiency for that. Uh, and on our way out, uh, Google left the citizens of the town a nice surprise, uh, as they are now greeted by a flourishing landscape of mushrooms and cacti. And, mm-hmm. and somewhat moist ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all it's all noises. it's all very hot and smells very odd. <laughs> and now we are on a train was just to uh, <laughs> Breakers Bridge. You guys are. You're on a. You have just boarded the train. Is that my correct in saying you wanted to take an action or two just before? You yeah, got the train? Uh, Merrick, the bartender, who is yeah. also the closest thing to a postmaster for Oasis. I left a couple of letters going back to uh, the city yeah. to. A couple of my contacts to get the ball rolling on covering up the creepy, the horrific murder that we all had to witness. Uh, would you like <laughs> to read <laughs> these? Would you like to read these to the team, or uh, want to keep them under wraps? It's totally fine. Um, it's not anything too terribly divisive in there. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's let's keep it under wraps for now. Sure, sure. Uh, the only one who knows that this is a project she's undertaking is Rain and. The, as was discussed, the details don't matter. He's just got to do what she says when she says uh, in order to clear this up. Sure. All right. We're sending those back. Uh, does anybody else want to have taken any actions the day before as we're getting out of the train here? Uh, uh, as the train gets rolling, you guys find a compartment to yourselves, I suppose. Actually, he should be able to see those. Because I feel like she would at least sure, show yeah, a little bit. Absolutely. No problem at all. Here you are. Uh, as you are, writing. so okay. so do you want Better to do you want to tell it to the team for uh, the sake of the camera? Yeah, or you want just to just for the for the gist of it, she's calling in. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tempest is calling in and paying out some favors owed uh, in order to get some rumors spread to lay the groundwork for uh, fully covering up the. The creepy, faceless, naked corpse. All right. Marvelous. Truly spectacular. Uh, I believe as you as you sit down in the compartment, was there anything else that you wanted to tell to the team? Um, I think this was getting done on the train ride. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, but for the, for the sake of the, yeah. the, the smoothness of the yeah. endeavor, I'd like we're to go ahead and... A little ways into the train ride. <laughs> Two hours later. By the way, we are going from here, which which nobody on this on the camera can see, mm-hmm. to here, which nobody on the camera can see. Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, about an hour or so into the journey, some of us are dozing. We're all doing whatever. We're wrapped up in. I loudly smack on the table in the center of our car. We may have fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the. The message that we intercepted for the courier the other day was going to Lauren, who, because we had the envelope, we would know how her the Lauren that we delivered the message to was spelled. Uh, yes. It certainly. matches this one. Certainly it does. Cool. Huh. Uh, this is supposed to go to Lauren. Do you have sending? Oh. Uh, nope. Shit. Look at look at this. Do you have sending? Beautiful gameplay we got here. Nope. I got this cool. message up on the screen, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> and you Shit. have, am I correct in saying you completely decoded it? Yes. All right, I'm going to tap down. Look at that. Look, it's the decoded message on the screen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's the kind value. of quality you expect. Scrapping our fingers going I mean, we do. That's what we're doing now, but you yes. know what I mean. Uh, the... The letter intercept was a message for Lauren uh, warning her of a mole. The one at the fish market? Yeah. The one who was really good with that knife? Yeah. That was fucking hot. Um, however, the point is... This is a family show. She... <laughs> Back to drinking and whoring. <laughs> yes. Hey, she... nobody paid for anything. <laughs> yeah, I was just sleeping around. We did some heroic <laughs> shit. That just happens. We... Oh, for what I was um, we may have intercepted a message that was important for her to get, warning her of a mole and threats to families. 
We need to get word back as quickly as possible. I'm sure she could take a giant mole. I... Tony yes, but there's other moles going after the families, Tony, and we don't know if it's families. A, when you deliver a line like that, I need you to dab after. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yes, but there's there, there's there's other other dangers too to to other people besides just the mole. I mean, they're just moles. I. It's a figure of speech, I, I believe. Yeah, the mole a mole can also mean yeah a, a spy, someone implanted into a group. With the intent of being of working against that group that they have uh, wormed their way into. Do we have any idea of who that mole could be working for? I don't know. Well, it says the crowns. Well, A is who was giving her the was giving her the uh, oh, warning, which is also concerning. But do we do we know who the crowns are? Is that is that name familiar to uh, us since we run like I I'm a criminal, I run in all kinds of weird circles. Uh if you would like to make a roll for this, you're more than welcome. Can I roll right. for a plot point, please? <laughs> yes. Can I, can I roll to know the answer to the mystery <laughs> point? <laughs> okay, but like what 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 would I roll? What is uh, this? Roll for plot. Uh uh I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, it probably doesn't matter what you add to it. <laughs> Why don't like, you go ahead and throw it? <laughs> I'm saying, like, I would I have heard, like, anything. 11 plus what? No. <laughs> <laughs> if that wasn't a Tom, natural plan. Tom, Tom, can I please know what happens at the end of the game? I'm not going to know what happens. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if I would know anything no. about something referencing the crowns. Is that, I, like, a gang or something? I, I think that this is a very good uh, line of questioning. Yes. To your knowledge... You have you have not heard anyone anywhere described in, in such a fashion. Okay. Um, uh, now it, it should be noted that none of you has been been in this place all that terribly long. Yeah. Uh, but to your knowledge, you haven't heard anything like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's an answer. So, no fucking clue who or what the crowns are. It sounds ominous as shit. And, uh, we've, uh, gotta, gotta get this warning to her quick. Man, I gotta limit my mugging on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, some of us watch it back. I'm over here doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do rewatch it, because I keep forgetting what happens last session. That's how we keep uh -huh. on getting six or seven views. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all of I, us here. I knew it wasn't just me. <laughs> I love me a juice beverage. Mm. Okay, you guys are on the train. All right. Uh, you guys find your way into an into a into a compartment, uh, not dissimilar to the one that you had on the way down to Oasis, and you do, 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 as you're going down the tracks. Does anyone want to take an action? You're gonna be on the train for another probably hour. It's like a two-hour ride from from Oasis to Breakers Breach. Not too long. Not long enough for anything. Tremendous to happen most of the time, but but uh, but time enough for actions if you wish it. Uh, I write up a letter to Lauren, quick explanation that we were hired to intercept a courier. Didn't know it was involved with her. We weren't involved with her at that point, but this message was supposed to get to her, and we are sorry that it is late, and just sort of sent that along. Well, once we get to the, so it's ready to send along once we get to the station. Like just having this uh, drafted out. Yeah, drafted out, ready, written, and ready to send. Wait, give me the text of that again, please. I'll have it written down. Hey, on a job, we intercepted something that was meant for you. I'm very sorry about that. I just decoded and found out it was meant for you, and then the decoded letter enclosed in it. If I remember correctly, she got the letter regardless. She got the letter from uh, Leon. 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 Yeah. That's which is a different letter. It's a different letter. Yeah, it's a very different letter. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, no, because we, we intercepted it being delivered, presumably to her. We gave it to a different dude. We gave it to the creepy dude in the bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did do that, yeah. Yeah. Along with the courier, who's presumably been tortured to death. 
even though he didn't know shit. That's an interesting presumption. Yeah. Uh, so you want to say, hey, I stole your mail, gave it to somebody I don't know. Do you want to say that? Yeah, yeah, it's business. business. You want to use those words? She already heard it. Uh, I said the words that I said already, uh-huh. which are not those words. Yeah, you're right. Those are the just, words those I said. Are just the one she's going to read. The words yeah. that I said yeah. included the explanation that it was a job mm-hmm. that I did not realize uh, was going to affect her. I have realized my error and in making steps to correct it, and I apologized. I and accidentally leaning, uh, stole your mail and gave it to someone I don't know. The, the empathy and understanding of assassins were really doing well on that front in this game so far. Now yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> yes, but... Nothing makes me happier than people making my job easy. That's really good. That's good. <laughs> yes, but you went a little I recognize... Right look, I recognize... <laughs> I recognize that there is a risk in admitting this, but I feel like her getting this information. Yeah, I feel like her getting this information is more important than the risk. But I do run the by them first because before we send this, we have to know that we're going all in on whatever Leon's side is. I think personally, if this courier was intercepted by. A group such as us, what's to stop our letter from being intercepted as well? I feel like something like this security that's through sensitive. Security. Well, no one knows it's us. We didn't know we were sending this letter until this morning, so how could anybody else know? Yeah. yeah. And at least to your knowledge, no one knows you have it. Yeah. Like, we hid all evidence of tampering, and oh, no. I, she has the original. This is the copy. E- yeah. even, even the person you gave it to yeah, that's true. doesn't know. They, they, uh, you did a pretty darn good job of making it look like the box hadn't been on. Yeah. Um, so what the fuck are we do? Personally, I think we should deliver this information Ellie's here. firsthand. Da, da, da. Otherwise, Echo there's a risk of, of oh, miscommunication. Maybe we do if you know what I mean. one of these bad boys. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you. Uh, that's a good point. What's everyone else think? What's you a good point? I was not paying attention. Sorry. I was staring out the window. Uh, he was suggesting that we instead uh, make sure we deliver it by hand to make sure it's not intercepted again. Oh. I mean, but it might be. The, the issue is security versus the time sensitivity. Hmm. They're, like, her faction is moving right now. And the sooner she knows that there is someone within her group working against her, the better. Well, think of it this way. If we get to Breaker's Breach... Draft the letter up mm-hmm. and mail it in the post. I have a feeling that by the time it gets there, we'll already be back and lost. I mean, we're only going to break your breach to what? Deliver another letter to a newspaper industry. Uh, then we're coming back. I would assume, unless. Don't wait. Don't we have a kitty to catch? Uh, that's on the other side, right? It's up, it's up here. Yeah, that's over there. We'll have to stop back and lost before we take the train out that way, anyways. Yeah, there's no connecting back lines. To Leon. Right. For a, a mission complete, get our pay. Yeah. Around that time, hopefully, Lauren will be in the vicinity and we are able to deliver this information to her. And I have a feeling that <laughs> she'll be a bit more amicable. If, if we, we do it face to face? Yes. I suddenly feel better handing it over knowing that, you know, I've at least got some people at my back. That's a good at point. At least that way we know who stands it. Yep. <laughs> Ellie, this is a family show. That's what I. That's what I keep the saying. Fuck right? it is. Right. <laughs> How dare the you? Fuck it is. Zeb, Zeb, you tell him. You put me and Zeb at the same yes, table the and say, it "Watch is. your mouth." <laughs> this is a fucking family show. Watch your God, fucking family piece of shit. I thought I was working with professionals, not sailors. <laughs> So is our professionals. It's true. Goddamn more professional God, than we are. Gosh Fuck. darn it. That's the truth. <laughs> Dang, man. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you very, very much for telling me mm-hmm. exactly how, how exciting my job is going to be. Did we, <laughs> did we settle on a, on a precise uh, course no, action? No, no letter unless... Ever? Yeah. This is reasonable. Uh, no letter unless... 
the our stay seems as though it will be longer than anticipated. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right. reasonable to me. So we're not going to send a letter until we know it's too late to send a letter. Yes. There it is. Seems logical. So we'll find a cleric who can do sending or something. So does anyone want to take any other particular actions on the road to Breaker's Breach? I guess the only thing that I would want to do would be to bring my stock of face forgetting potions back up to three <laughs> using that time to work my poison kit and create my signature blood. Uh, at like least one seven. of them in that time. I don't have an issue with you making one, for sure. Absolutely. Anybody else? Google's napping. He's tired. Oh yeah, you guys you guys got like a uh, I assume that you were you're you're trying to rack up the business expenses so that you can oh, yeah. get them reimbursed when you get back. Oh of course. Oh yeah, we you guys, you guys are in the first class, you got the ones with the two bunks on either side. Yeah. 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 Put it on the company card. Yeah. Where they where they deliver the Spe- food to spe- us. Specifically the company card of the uh, uh, of the wildlife organization. Well no no, we're double charging because we're keep, yeah. we're, we're getting two copies of receipts. One, because Leon said that he would reimburse travel expenses. And one, we're going to add to the atomized, uh, the itemized list of extra costs on top of the bonus that for the ex, the uh, greater difficulty than anticipated. Course. This of is course. not our first Turtle Rodeo. <laughs> it might be, but it's not our first negotiation session. So Yeah, and it's not our first I, time billing I, multiple people for the same thing. <laughs> Put me in a cowboy hat and expect me not. I've ridden a turtle twice before. Oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, a good twice mile. a day. Uh, uh, I, uh, we've got a, a question in chat. Yes, we are still one member short. While we, well, that that mission is going to be very exciting to hear about <laughs> when we hear about it. Talos is like five jobs deep. Was like, where the fuck are these guys? <laughs> We're supposed to meet up here. Uh so, if, if no one's taking any actions, moving up and down the train, taking a look at uh, the places, can, I, can I just like wander around the train? Sure, with that, uh, I guess it's a, it's a pretty nice train. You have some. So you have there's a dining car at one end, uh, back near the caboose, down back near the storage compartments. Uh, there are there's the engine up at the front. There's the um, the kitchen, which is mm-hmm. back near the dining car, uh, and there are a number of three, four, five uh, large um, uh, uh, sections, large large train cars dedicated mm-hmm. to sleeping quarters. Oh, okay. Nothing particularly interesting. No, just to just to give you a sense of, of what you'll be the the sort of transportation you'll be taking as you as you move forward. Okay. Would you like to look for anything in particular? Ah. Uh. Do I notice where the emergency brakes are? Ooh. Because those are spread, like the yeah. blood sacks are spread throughout the train. I just want to find them and take note of where they are yeah. in each car. On the back of each car, there is a handle with a with a thick rope attached to it. And you, you lift glass, grab, and pull. Okay. Emergency brake. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm going to case the joint. Scoping yeah. the trains? Yeah. Yeah, what are you looking for? Uh, I want to case out the uh, passenger cars. Whoa. Or, hmm. Would I know if there was a specific luggage car? Yeah, the luggage car is the last car in the back. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he forgets faces for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like you, you blink, you, you pull out your hand mirror, and you're. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was call? Man, this one extra strong. Uh, uh, Riley, do you want to try to do anything with that or just get a sense of it? You, uh, uh, having been here for quite some time, you have a sense that the construction of most of the train cars are pretty similar. Mm-hmm. So anything you take note of on this car will be very similar on any future trains you take. Okay. Mm-hmm. I want to, uh, I want to get a lay of the land in the nicer, uh, Dorm car. Ooh, first class. Uh, you guys are saying so you you guys have a like a little little compartment and let's say the second class carriage. Okay. Sure. In the uh, the the car back and two cars behind them are the really nice first class carriages. I'm gonna um, take a uh, part of my costume set that I have. I'm gonna pull it on a nice suit jacket and cast prestidigitation on myself before I. Oh, oh, so you're like you're 
Make myself oh. uh, fit the part. Classy. Yeah. Sauntering through. As you're walking through, you note that on this particular train, most of the compartments are empty. Uh, you peek in and you see that there's a very nice plush feather cot on one side. Some of them have are, are double stacked, uh, but they're quite a bit wider and nicer. Uh, and you note that the that the um, the locks are very simple locks that could probably be shimmed if you had someone with enough time and a little bit of skill. Uh, you find that the lights overhead in each of them are oil lamps. There are oil lamps that are fed from the fed through the train. Uh, and as you as you walk back, you see uh, that each of them has a relatively wide window, which points out into the into the desert, into the waste. Okay. As you are walking. While he's doing that, can I check out like the luggage car and? Any cargo areas further back, right? Sure. Yeah, you want to go check out the luggage. Yeah. While he's casing yeah. that area, I'm gonna case that area too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You. You. Delegation of duties. Sort you, of. You saunter on back. Yeah. You walk back to the to the rear car, and you can see very clearly that the that the door to the luggage area is a pretty mm-hmm. wide window that leads onto a little step. You had to. Yeah, I apologize. You had to walk across a little step. Yeah. In open air into the next train every yeah. time you want to go. Uh, and the last step uh, has a, a gentleman, a, a large burly person with a, a, um, a you know, in a, in a red train, train operator's uniform and a little hat standing in front of it. Without even approaching this individual, you can sort of lean around and see into the luggage car. You can see that there are two stacks of uh, shelves on mm-hmm. either side, and there's a sparse luggage on both of them uh, on this particular train. And you can see clear out to the back to a door that leads outside on the rear of the train. Is there a safe back there? You do not see a safe in the luggage compartment. No. Okay. So at least this cart does not have high-value items. Uh, you can be very confident that that car does not have extremely high-value luxury items. No. Okay. It's clearly uh, important enough to uh, post a gentleman in front of it. <laughs> yeah, a gentleman. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty light security for anything really worth stealing. I do, has the gentleman seen me? Um, yes, but, but hasn't made any threatening moves. Yeah. Like, you know, an individual is wandering through the train, as individuals on trains do, you know. Uh, yeah. How just, long are I give him, like, a very... Going to be on this train for? Yeah, maybe half an hour left. It's a short train ride. Okay. Yeah. This is a... This is a, a, a sort of a... An introductory train, how's that? <laughs> we'll have our chance to rob a train later, hopefully. What are... Start to make my way back through the cars and try to find yeah. Rain. Sure, you get back to the car uh, where Rain is doing experiments and Google is sleeping. <clears throat> you still doing experiments? Ah, oh, just finished actually. Why? Well, we've only got about uh, thirty minutes, I'd say, give or take. I look down at my sundial. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you angle it out the window. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just about. Uh. <laughs> no, but. Uh, yeah, you, you hit a post like the like, my arm like snaps the, off. Like, like the girl in um, not Midsummer, the other one, Hereditary. That yeah. is. Please continue. <laughs> I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but uh, we're about the same height. You want to make a little extra money? Oh, are we the same height? Depends on what you have in mind. I'll tell you. Five eight. <laughs> we are not the same height. Hard out of nine thirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six three, if you include the horns. There's a seems to be a pretty well off uh, passenger car up to the front. Mm-hmm. It seems a little too easy to get in through some of those doors. And these people got a bunch of stuff. They're not going to miss anything. I would tend to agree with you, although I'm not a thief, not usually. Your morals <clears throat> confuse <throat> me. <laughs> I think it's more... You'll a rip the face off of a man, but you won't take his coin purse. I think this it's is less... Is coin purse valuable to the mission? <laughs> no, no, I just haven't. Money is 
always valuable to the mission. Yeah, money is always valuable. That's all it's kind of told all the time, I would say. Yeah, I think it's more a point of professional the, pride. The, the, what are you arguing? I suppose you have a point. <laughs> a little extra funds never hurt. I, it was just a question. Yeah. We don't have to do it. I just, I don't know. This is yeah. the range Getting edgy. capitalist philosophy to me. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Let's hop, let's hop on back to Tempest. What are we doing over there? <laughs> uh, I, I probably would have head back oh, around the end back? of that conversation. Oh, sure, sure. You guys are on uh, the same train car now. I'm not sure if this particular train's worth it. I uh, took a look at the uh, cargo area. Getting antsy, that's all. Yeah, I get that. But the cargo area, there's only one guard, no safes. Probably nothing's uh, too valuable on the trains. If I was going to bring, we could walk right by. If I was going to bring yeah. something valuable on a train, I'd probably keep the on myself check bag or carry on. Ah, uh, check bag. You think I'm going to take? No, we're back in the old country. country. Throw it in the back? Yeah, no, when they have the safes, back in the old country, we did uh, a couple of the train jobs, remember? It's usually the safe in the back that had everything really worth taking. Yeah. They're never quite as secure as the people uh, make them out to be. Really, in my experience, there's usually a whole bank car with the safes at the front, where most of the personnel is. Yeah. Depends on the, the company that does it. I suppose so. At least where we were doing... I haven't Most? ridden there many trains here on this continent yet, truthfully. Here we on this continent. Back home there was a couple, most ones we robbed did the rear for their valuables, but uh, we never actually did one with a full bank car. It was at uh, a little more heat than we were feeling. All right, fine, forget it. Right. It's just an idea. Well, I... I mean, if we, like, shared what we noticed, I mean, if we get confirmation on something worth grabbing, it'd be we, a quick It's, like, 15 minutes left. Yeah. We're about to pull into the station at any point. Are we doing a speed robbery? Is that uh, what's about to happen? I don't think so. I'll set a timer. I'll set a timer dress style. You guys want a timer? You, got, you guys want an eight-minute timer robbery? Uh, do... <laughs> Can we do like an investigation to see if there was anything, any like car that looked like it had something worth taking? You think that the valuables will be kept up front near the near the conductors? Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Well, you 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 think that Stop on your head. as as you 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 the you know after having that discussion, you do a little bit of yeah. walking of the train. Uh, do we find the safe up front? You in the conductors. Uh, in the conductor's carriage, mm -hmm. there's the conductor's cabin, and there's a large safe with a big old rotary lock on it. I hand the five bucks over. <laughs> <laughs> I hand the five bucks over because I was like, yeah, I'm wrong. Uh, there's the there's the 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 crew cabin, the 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 crew cabin, the conductor's cabin, and then the engine, the engine, the engine car. Yeah. But that's where they would be if there was anything particularly valuable. Yes. We don't know if there's anything you, that's going to be worth the risk. Any, anything that is of great value that a passenger wants to declare to the... Uh, to would the, to be the up there. Yes. As you, as Does anyone pass, look like a drug smuggler or some other kind of smuggler? Sure, give me a roll. Uh, what would I add to this? Uh, how about investigation? That's fine. All right. Investigation or insight, whichever you like. Uh... Twelve? Twelve. You don't... No one looks particularly suspicious on this train. The, most of the people here are tired and on their way home. Uh, uh, and they are... Um, uh, uh, the, the, the cars, I should say, are mostly empty. There's, there's not a ton of people on the train. If there's any smugglers, they're uh, good at their job. Fucking assholes. So can I gather we're gonna we're gonna save the speed robbery for another another session? Another, another session. I guess. I guess. I'm I not gonna. Just I'm not gonna tell you not to. I'm not gonna tell you not to. I just. I got a whole big old bag. I'm of already stuff. Clean, I'm already <laughs> trying to clean up one crime. <laughs> so, with with a huff and a puff from both the train and Riley. I'm going to go back. And in the 
sun that is for, uh, stretching from morning into the afternoon, somewhere around around noon or one, you find yourselves pulling into Breaker's Breach as the train starts to slow down on approach. And you can see out the window as you are approaching Breaker's Breach what sort of a place this is. Mm-hmm. Breaker's Breach is the largest city on the continent by quite a bit. Uh, it is uh, uh, huge and sprawling in the desert sun on the uh, on the edge of the water. You can see that it is that, that the houses, the streets, the paved streets that seem to have been seem to seem to be to be artificially resistant to the harsh desert sun, and there are roads that stretch in and out, and perhaps most importantly, in the center, in the city center, which you can see as you are coming, cutting between these dunes, there are towers. Proper skyscrapers in the center of this city, and you can see them as you approach in, even in the afternoon sun, they are in glittering neon, bright glass, in variant colors. You see one with a with a a dragon halfway up it, with a with what appears to be a, a live dragon perched on the side of one of the buildings. You see another with what with dragon art with what seems to be an entire train and as you pull into the station into what seems to be something of a city center uh, uh, you look across the, the alabaster, stone-paved streets, uh, and, and you see people, so many people, in such great variety of dress and outfit. You see individuals in serving outfits, individuals in what looks like evening gowns preparing for an evening on the town and in evening gowns just getting done with the night the night before. Uh, You see uh, uh, coming in and out of the ground floors of some of these great glittering buildings, uh, people in suits, people in coats, people in top hats strolling across in the mixed pinks and reds and golds that even in the bright light, the neon seems to glow. In fact, as you step off the train through the station and out of the great stained glass train station, you step out on the pavement, and it almost seems dimmer here than it did before, like the sun is being shielded. Uh, and. As you step out into the city, into the city center, in this this large throng of people, uh, there is a fountain in the center, two large streets to the right, and a number of enormous buildings in glittering neon colors all around you. Now, which one of these is the newspaper industry? Uh, I think it was radio. I think it's the Breakers Bridge Radio. Let's. Well, I pull out the thing. You are looking for the radio station, yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. Would that be near newspaper or far away? Are they, are they like enemies? I may have never been here before. Yeah, fair. Uh, oh. Can I... Is there somewhere... In this station, is probably somewhere that sells city maps, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You walk up to a kiosk and there is a... a Goblin in a top hat with like a knight in, in the same red as you saw the the individuals on the train. Mm-hmm. Good good afternoon, friends. New in town? Uh, yeah, yeah. Marvelous. Perhaps you'd like a map. Complimentary. And here, he pulls out a small pile of poker chips and places them in your hand on the house. Courtesy. Do I see anywhere, like, immediately with an eye shot where I would be using gambling chips? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, we're in Vegas. <laughs> we're in Vegas, baby! <laughs> oh, fuck. I am immediately, my brain is rushing through every card and chance game con I know. I'm like, 
Hey, Tempest? Yep, 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 we're good, 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 we're good. We're good. Um, you look a little stressed there, actually. There's a risk of bad habits. We should, we should, we should move. We should move quickly. Uh, would anyone like to take any actions? Uh, looking through, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a save just for myself. Oh, oh, all right, all right, sure. Uh, I would like to do a perception check. For, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm going to smell. <laughs> Well, I mean, usually you do, but... Yes, but, I'm, I'm going well, to... Well, what actually, I'm kind of smelling like musty food. In. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, that is a 10. No, I, that's 13. I appreciate that, but you didn't need to roll. You can smell uh, across the way. Uh, uh, you, you guys are still in the train station. You went back in to get the, you know, to one of the kiosks. Uh, and... Uh, however, you could, uh, if you stepped outside, you could certainly smell uh, cooking chicken somewhere along the way, some pleasant pasta dish somewhere down that way, and something that smells much like a steakhouse down that way. There is much food and much, much deliciousness here. Is anyone else hungry? I'm kind of hungry. They only had pretzels on the train. There, there was a whole and they were standing so- cart. What? There's a kitchen. Why didn't you say anything? I thought you saw I it. I told you like six times. I'm fucking starving. I thought you saw it. What do you mean? We all went and ate. I didn't yeah, know where what you were. It? What? What were you doing? Casing the train? So was I. All That's right. how I found the right. kitchen. Right. Let's get some food. Hard out at 9 <laughs> Hard out at 9 um, <laughs> Let's get some I food. Rolled, I, rolled a <laughs> five, I rolled a five on my wisdom save, so I'm immediately going to look for a card gate nearby or some other... Oh, some God. other... Thing. Oh, oh, Zeb, are you telling me that you want to go in a casino? Not necessarily is that, casino. Is that what you're looking me in the eye and telling me right not, now? Not casino. Is there, is there, is there are any... Are people shooting craps on the sidewalk? Yeah, is there any, like, like, you know, the game's chance they're, like, outside? It's a little early in the day for, for the buskers to have yeah. set up. Uh, uh, you don't see any immediately outside, at least not here. Uh, this is the this is the city center. Knowing how cities work, you might think that if you were to go away from the city center, you might find places where where that sort of thing is a little more common. Okay. Where where, where yeah, uh, there's a there's a bit less a bit less order. Yeah, the- casinos tend to have knee like leg breakers, so I don't like to go to casinos. Tempest, Boy, did do you I find have the that. radio station on the map? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Do I find Do I find the radio station on uh, the map? You take a look at the map, and there's a number of things that are starred in bright gold, and they have you know, you know, they have the, they have those little icons where they're like built up slightly, and they're like blown up. You see one that says the High Life Casino and Hotel. You see another that says Elias's Comedy Club. You see one that says. The Half Man Theater of the Mind, and there's a couple of more places like this. Uh, is any um, of them the Breakers Breach Radio? You do not see a radio station marked okay. on your, your tourist. Okay, so talking. This so, is a sponsored map. But it still has, like, the city as a. Like, that's still a map of the city. Yes. Okay, so I go back to Goblin. Um, before we get too stuck into festivities, we do actually have some business to take care of. Do, can you point us to where. Uh, Breakers Breach Radio uh, operates out of? The individual says, certainly, I'd be more than happy to attempt the hat again and takes the map back, pulls a marker out from underneath and circles a, a wide gray building uh, most of the way down one of the main streets out toward um, uh, out toward the desert, not toward the water. Okay. Yes. I hand him a ten and... Uh, thank you kindly, my friend. I'm assuming there's the station is marked on the map? Yes. yes okay. Yes, yep. Uh, yeah, right. it's right around in in Times uh, uh, in, in <laughs> son of a gun. It's right around the in, the Vegas the center of the in, Vegas Strip. Hold on, uh, 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 Breakers Square is actually what I named it. Uh, <laughs> right in, right in the square uh, uh, is the train station. One of the really big hotels, a big fountain in the middle, uh, uh, and a couple of smaller like restauranty establishments around here. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, I found it. We're here. We need to get over here. 
Tempest, uh, are yeah. you coming? Yeah, where, where, where are you We're going? going to get food. Okay, let's get some food. My eyes are constantly peeled for anyone busking games of chance. Sure. Uh, uh, as you guys are as you guys are walking, uh, and you, you start to move away from the from the real big city center, you pass a, the you know the big theater on your left and another smaller casino on your right. This is the one with the with the dragon halfway up. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, would anyone like to uh, somebody somebody give me a uh, uh, an arcana check on that? Well, is that a real dragon? Wow. What is that? Nine. Uh, dirty twenty. Uh, uh, glancing, <laughs> glancing up at this, at this nearby, at, the, at what appears to be a live red dragon. You can see that this is just a a very carefully well crafted three dimensional illusion that appears to, like, get claws into the window, crawl up, but then you see the illusion fade behind it and the windows repair themselves. Uh, uh, this is the, the Firecracker Casino, is the name of this location. Mm. You carry on walking. What was the comedy club again? Elias's Comedy Club. Elias' Comedy yes. Club. Yes. <laughs> As, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, there was a... A bounty board in the in the town square in the city square. We can come back to that a little later. Yeah. Not necessarily today, but just just to make sure that I said that. Yeah. Um. You guys walk. You guys are walking down, uh, and you you start to enter. Uh, you start to exit the more the really touristy section of mm-hmm. town, and you get into a little bit more of like the the more like residential like working area. Uh, you start to see instead of like flashy places, you see shops and like uh, and like like normal people restaurant and even some some like apartment buildings. Uh, and down at the end, not too far away from a a wide but but low wall about this big that surrounds the city, uh, you see a um, uh, a wide gray building that is flat on one side with a slanted roof. It has a, a sign out front that says um, uh, Breakers Breach Rating. Um, Bet you could sled down that Google. That doesn't look like a restaurant, guys. I don't think they serve food here. Oh, yeah, let's just go, to go, go get food first. Oops. Is, uh, do we do we find street food on the oh, way? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, absolutely. Describe, describe some street food. Yeah, you street find meat. you find like some. Yeah, we need street meat. You, uh, uh, again, it's a it's a We're little in a new city. Gotcha. Street street meat. It's a little early in the day still. They haven't like come out full force, but there's like there's a taco truck. You know, there's a uh, there's a place serving like like personal pizzas that they that they make rapidly. There's a halal stand. Yeah, <laughs> there's a halal stand. You can get some falafel. If you get want. some falafel and euros. Some falafel. You want to get some? So okay, they. Uh, uh, yeah, you you go up and uh, uh, spicy euros. Uh, Is that you, another halal stand right down the road there? There's another one across the street. Another. <laughs> God damn! Wow, you guys are everywhere. Wow, that's a third taco truck too. How about that? Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You go right up. Falafel, on out, euros, tacos in the other hand. Yep. Hmm? Yep. Casting Tempest graphs. Oh, yeah, I can put carry more food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you, but in, but instead of the, uh, instead of the mouse, my new meteors, it's just a taco. It's just it's just falafel balls rotating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, tra- I, I transmute my uh, mouse, my new meteors to falafel. All right, perfect. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else doing anything particular? I'm enjoying the falafel. All right, do it. All right, All right. So you guys are you guys are down on this side. Also He's on this also on this side of the city, uh, uh, this is the you, you get the sense just from the construction over here mm-hmm. that this is the least common entrance to the city as you you walk up toward this this you walk down this wide stone street uh, uh, and the road as soon as it exits the the wall that separates the city from the desert the the um, the road goes from beautiful white paved. Right back to a to a hard packed sand like like a, like a tight sand road that goes off into the desert. Um, or also on the side. Are we in the car? 
Or are we walking? I imagine we were walking. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, on the side, there are a number of, of outdoor games. You see uh, 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 an individual has set up over on the side, pretty, pretty close to the entrance, uh, a table with some cards. And you see that, that uh, on the other side, there's a person throwing dice. Uh, and you see a colorful colored wagon. Colorful cover wagon, uh, purple and black motley, with its shades drawn, but you see some games pieces out front. I failed the save. I... I nudge Temerity and we try and find the one that looks easiest to, uh, scam. Temerity, are you gonna try to, gonna you try gonna to help? talk this human out of it? Or are you gonna try to talk this tiefling out of it? Uh, mm. Just, just to make sure we got time. Do you guys want to go in and do the just, just wrap up the? Yeah, I think that the delivery. Let's do business do first, and we'll uh, focus on pleasure mm, later. Okay. Oh, that one looks easy. That looks easy to game, though. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going. Right. We're going. All right. So, so you sort of walking backwards and like looking between the the looking between the dice stand and like the and the covered wagon. You yeah. Go right on in. Uh, uh, you guys enter, and uh, uh, it is a wide stone, it is a wide flat building, and in the back, you can see there are a couple of not very tall, but relatively tall radio towers as you're walking in and through. Uh, <clears throat> there are desks out front, and you can see pretty much covering the entire one floor building, uh, there's cubicles all over the place. Uh, you see over on the left, there is a wall, uh, and there is a sign over it with a, 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 a red lit on air sign, right, right, up, right above it. Who's delivering this one? Last time I tried, you guys yelled at me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, gu I guess I gotta get persuasion. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll bring it in. Do I see someone who looks like I can, like a tip test person like that? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, uh, you walk up to you walk up to one of the desks and there's an individual with like with with one one elbow on the desk and like a, with like his head and his hands and he's like looking through looking through papers. He hasn't even noticed that you walked up. Yeah. Hey there, handsome. Give me give me give me give me give me a roll to flirt. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's give a me a persuasion. <laughs> Persuasion? Hold on. Is this guy good looking? Uh, not particularly, <laughs> but not particularly unattractive either. He's a pretty normal looking gentleman. He, <laughs> he, not lie to he me. looks. What he looks like is he looks like he spent twenty years in journalism. That's what he looks like. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's got so three I lit have, cigarettes. I have a plus nine to persuasion. Sure. But I rolled a one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good. So he thinks I'm being a dick. Uh, no, he looks up at you, makes eye contact, and he physically jumps. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa, ooh. Now it's, uh, the, not, not, now it's the demon chicks, I get it. Uh, uh, I see. Uh, I... Okay, that's a... You tone it down a little bit. Hold on. We're all people here. It's not my fault that this person looks like this. That's my sister. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can't you what, see the resemblance? What can I do for you? There's definitely just the sounds of, of like electricity snapping and crackling, a bit of ozone <laughs> filling the air. Smack the the letter down. I I too often threaten people who find me unattractive. <laughs> that's a joke, internet. Internet, that's a joke. It Look, she's, she's a bit sensitive about, you know, the fact that she looks like a fucking demon. So, you know, she's, she's, honestly, like, she's mostly over, but sometimes someone does shit like this and it brings up old wounds. And she's not, she's not trying to threaten him. She's just pissed off and that just happened. Ah, perfect. Okay. That just, that, right. that, that's just because there is some sort of storm constantly so, brewing inside her. Boom, you slap the thing down and that's what you say. Uh, nothing. I just I storm off somewhat literally before I 
say something or get violent. What am what, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? We're delivering it. <laughs> delivering it? What are you talking about? Yeah, we're here on a delivery. Picks up the envelope. He takes a moment and reads it. He throws it back across the desk and it slides back and flips off and onto the floor. Uh, you, uh, I don't have time for this. This is. It slips onto the floor. <laughs> we love on players around here. It, it, it uh, uh, I don't have time for this. I'm no. short-staffed as it is. Get this out of my face. This is small kind of stuff. Are you sure? It seemed pretty important to the person who we were gotten it from. Everything seems important to everybody, but every Are time... you charge around here? Every time, uh, every time somebody gets upset with anybody, uh, they throw I, stuff across my editorial desk. I don't want it. I come back, pick it up again, and I, I see the room where they're recording, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a little hurt. I'm a little pissed off. I'm, I'm heading. I'm walking that direction. <laughs> You're storming right over there. Yep. Whoa, whoa. He he sort of like does that shuffle along the dial. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right. Hold on here. Hold the phone. Okay. I don't have time for this. I'm short staffed. All right. Two of my editors didn't come in today. All right. I need you. If you want, you want this story run. Mm-hmm. One of my editors is probably drunk at the casino right now. You go hand this to them. They're always looking for this kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of worker sh- stuff. So we're looking for an Ed? <laughs> yeah, an Ed. Okay. The what? Who is this guy? <laughs> Say something bad about Google. I fucking dare you. Should I roll? F- pushes. I sh- oh, oh, you are you trying? You actually trying to intimidate? Yeah, let's I'm go. Roll intimidation check. Uh, nineteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. 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 Jesus. So who, okay. who are we looking for? Name. What do they look like? What fucking Shuffle. casino are they at? Shuffles around down under the desk and pulls out a business card. Throws it across the desk. Says, Name is Vivian. They. They. Like the high life. All right. Take this card, put in my pocket. Unless we're all, we're all friends here, okay? We're all friends. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay? Yes. Okay? Okay. I like, I like this guy. guy. Okay? okay? I like this guy? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. My God, we did an encounter. Yeah. What are we doing now, Jim? Uh, as we leave, can I, like, subtly discharge some, some lightning into sure. something that looks expensive? Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, just, like, once he's not looking. Oh, you, oh, you want to, like, knock him off the air or something? <laughs> just, just briefly, maybe. Or just sure. break something that's expensive. Just something electronic that I can just... Subtle cast. So, yeah. Subtly over. Yeah, you want to you wanna, you wanna try to break the iron or something? Sure. All right, all right. All right. All right. Uh, uh... Uh, it is not hard for you to cast it. It is hard for you to cast it stealthily. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 you want to roll me a stealth, or you wanna you wanna come up with a creative solution? Um. Shit! I thought I took subtle spell. You didn't take subtle spell. Yeah, I was a sorcerer. I thought I thought I had subtle spell. Fuck! I forgot to change that before. Oh well, I don't have that. Give me a roll. Um. Okay. Uh, eleven. <laughs> no, eight. <laughs> oh God! As you're walking out, you see the you see some power lines going up. You whack, slap them. All the lights in the building go off and then on again, but the on air sign does not come back. Uh, the editor does not notice you, but but one of the one of the uh, one of the other like assistant editors does notice that like you you slapped something as you were walking out. Uh, uh, but 
they're all none of them's all that settled with you guys anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys around the sun? Wait, let's. Yeah, that was a second. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing, team? What are we doing? Sounds get... like we gotta go find Ed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go do the high life. Uh, okay. okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Anger, oh, yeah. anger has supplanted my need to scam someone. Harder, 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 harder. <laughs> okay, we got this. We got yeah. this team. We got this. Anger has supplanted my need to, to pull a con or run games or anything. All right, so, so you, you guys, guys are walking back, back up. up. Yeah. Welcome back. You guys walk up back up to the to the city center. It's probably pushing two o'clock. Yep. It's getting a little later in the day. Uh, but you note that it seems to be getting dark here faster than you would have expected. Uh, you look up and, and it's it's you can see where the sun is in the sky. It's still pretty high in the sky. Uh, but all the sky seems to be somewhat dimmer than it might have in the the lights that light the way have already come on, even though it's just uh, uh, just into the afternoon. Uh, you guys go up to the High Life Casino Hotel. There's a, uh, uh, a big bag of coins on the top uh, that like, is, is like uh, uh, constructed in such a way that it looks like it's falling over. It looks like it's going to flow out. You guys walk into the casino, and I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Okay. I think that's where we're going to do it. I'm looking at the clock. I'm hot, right? <laughs> Guys, what happened to the sun? Don't ask me that question. I'm, I'm looking at the clock. We have 11 minutes. You can keep objectively, not creepy. Don't be creepy. She's like, <laughs> she's real upset. <laughs> it's been a while since that. there's been... That kind of reaction. Uh, and, and that, and we'll go ahead and, and start there next week. Oh, you know, you know what we can do? Hmm. You know what we can do? Uh, on the way back, would you guys like to check out Bagor? Yeah. Yeah, sure. all right. Good call. Uh, there, are, there are three notes on the bounty board. All right, there's three. Mm -hmm. You guys just take them off? Of course. Is that safe to suppose? Yeah. Okay. Uh, For the Witcher. One yeah, is, no, uh, uh, because I, w I was busy printing out Ubicon things, I don't have these physically. I'm sorry, I'm a bad GM, I know. The worst. I know. I know. How fucking dare you? You have this family show. You have a... <laughs> sorry, you're right. How fucking could you? Uh, you have a handwritten note. It is unsteady, but it's clear that it took some, some care, that they took care to write it as neat as possible. Uh, it reads, quote, farm under constant attack by native wildlife. Please help. They come every night. I have barely half my livestock left. Come to Water Spring Grove. Ask for help. There is another, a note type in simple script, and it has a series of square cards beneath it. It says, quote, looking for a team of dedicated skills workers for highly specialized job. Take card for inquiry. And below that... That's some wet work. And below that... Uh, it says uh, the Firecracker Casino and Hotel asks for assistance in acquisition tasks. And How many days has it been since? Brawl Ball. Brawl Ball, two days. Oh, we don't have time for, for other jobs quite yet. Because we need to get this back to and we need to get we, the Brawl If we are, want to do Brawl Ball, we have to do it tomorrow. Pretty sure. If it's been no, you got days. five days. Oh, was it five? Yeah. Five, three. What? Yeah. Oh, I just said, oh. Five we have five more days. Okay. You got, you got three more days on top of this. Oh, five so we have, we have three days to that. Correct. And we still need to learn how to play Brawl Ball. Correct. Because anyone who knows is Google. But, but they have the, the, your benefactor, shall we say, has the pitch books for that morning. So you'll be able to. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's say become professional in that time. Yeah. Um, we're going to focus heavier on the brawl and lighter on the ball. <laughs> We're just gonna let Google score while we do violence. All right. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's a druid. They're tanks, and we need to get this back to Lauren. Agreed. But we should look into the, those uh, acquisition and team jobs. All right. I saw animals. I wanna I wanna play with the animals. Of course. Okay. Does any of you? 
uh, uh, I'll, I will get you all the text to that between now and next time. But for right now, I think we're gonna we're gonna sign off. Yeah. We're gonna sign off. Riley, you wanna bring that cat into frame to, yes. to so that so that the algorithm likes it? Yes. Oh yeah. 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 There it is. Look at that. That's the cat. Look at this cat. Yeah. Look at this cat. All right. So if you're ready, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.